Welcome back to some professional StarCraft 2 from the DreamHack Masters Winter Edition. The German Titans face off yet again. The largest, most massive, and exciting players, not only in Germany, but the world, meet again. An unstoppable force versus a completely unmovable object. Which is which? I'll let you decide. In the top left, the Titanic Terran. The uh, Battle Mech Behemoth. The greatest giant of StarCraft II. It is the biggest of games. Hero Marine. Always well known for his prowess in the Weekly Cups. Can he come through here in the main event? His nemesis. They've probably played each other more often than anyone else for the first few rounds of the ESL Weekly Cup. Uh, for the first, like, 20 ESL EU Cups, they played like eight, nine times in the final. It's become a little less common lately, but still. It's time for Shota. Both these players I think of as solid, comfortable macro players. They're older players, they're experienced. Two ways to say similar things. They're not taking huge risks much of the time unless they feel it's necessary. Of course, they're not passive. They're not going to sit back and defend when they have an opportunity uh, to take advantage of the situation. But we will see in this best of five which way the wind blows. Starting on Light Shade. Showtime and Hero Marine. I, I do, I am interested to point out Hero Marine, a bit of a mind game. Showtime biting slightly. He showed no command center. With no command center, you wonder, hmm, what's out on the map? Except there is a command center. He's hidden it on the high ground. In fact, the adepts are still scouring. He's thinking maybe a starport, maybe even a factory. But it is just a command center, somewhat hidden. I think he spotted the widow mine there, which gives away the fact this isn't a factory on the map. But instead, a slight but effective bamboozle. Big Gabe with a small mental victory, though he doesn't know how effective it was. Uh, it is very difficult to actually realize. He's hidden the widow mine at the back. The shade doesn't trigger it, but I believe Showtime saw it right to start. Oh my god, really? You're gonna he's gonna take the longest possible path. Showtime. I have met the enemy. The, he de oh are you kidding me? He still didn't see it. He's trying to hide as long as possible, but Showtime, he's calling his bluff. At this point, he's he's already set up for a third. Blink is on the way. A stalker poking forward. The best way to make your opponent show you what they have is to attack. In fact, I think he wants to chase down the Stalker here. The Adept shut at the door, drawn in. Medivac already on the way out. So, exactly what I'd expect from both these players so far. Yes, some micro plays, some mind games. A bit of a dangerous path on the Medivac, but... Overall, nothing particularly all in. Oh, if he loses the Medivac... Oh no, Showtime Rally just probes across the map. A lot going on here. A, a bit of a uncharacteristic mistake from Showtime with the miss rally on the probes as he was trying to chase down the medevac. Might have gotten it mixed up with his stalkers there. We don't mind coming across as they dance throughout the center of the map. Everybody going back to their corners. Besides a handful of scouting units. Hero Marine decided the Widow Mine slash Marine drop wasn't going to happen at half HP. Showtime deciding that having Widow Mines out on the map as well as some probes misrallied wasn't great either. Widow Mine was in spite. It's actually in the bushes there. So without the observer, wouldn't have been able to see it. Didn't have the time. All right, we'll sit back. We'll chill for a bit. 
We'll find out what happens next. A couple... So, uh, if this was Max Pax, or Parting, there'd probably be 12 stalkers and no expansion at the back. But, it is showtime. About the definition of a macro Protoss. They don't call him the wall for his aggressive plays. Looks like a Widowmine just kind of waddled in and killed five probes. As Widowmines do. It is not the most surprising thing in the world to see that. Hero Marine. Keeping it together. He's sending out the Raven for some potential auto turret harass. Not spotted yet. Dancing back and forth mid-map with the Stalker. There's only three Stalkers, so... He'd be lucky to kill a Marauder. Almost gets one. But don't want to lose any Stalkers in turn. They're quite expensive... Just in general, you know my thoughts on stalkers in a straight-up fight. Oh my god, what a beautiful response. But, too late! The water balloons were no match! A feedback, but an afterthought. He does deny the Raven any additional energy, but Showtime, not quite on the ball there. Not able to deny the uh, the Raven before it dropped down an auto turret, and now the Stim Marines and Marauders. There's no combat shield yet, so you gotta be a little careful. Your own Widowmines don't hit you in the face. Blinks out of one of the Widowmines. Looking for the pylon. Gonna be able to take it down. Feedback on the medevac. No more heals here. Stimming forward, chasing them back. Is shield battery overcharge necessary? The Templar gets sniped off. 150 gas gone. But Hero Marines starting to run out of units here. The Widowmines. Oh my god, still microing the last few Marines and Marauders. But overall, mostly superficial damage. One Templar, a Medivac, a bunch of Bio, some Zealots. Overall, the trade's relatively even. Showtime losing a, a smidge more gas, but Hero Marine losing a handful more minerals. Overall, with the worker counts approximately even. I say approximately even because mules exist and will definitely balance out the mineral income gap. Uh, with a third command center for Hero Marine, we're shaping up for the epic macro duel that we're used to seeing from these two. The Raven was still alive. The feedback does some emotional damage, and that can add up, but there wasn't enough energy either time for that emotional damage to be lethal. It's like, I don't think you're... You don't do nearly as much damage as you... Don't say that. I still have auto turrets. I still have anti-armor missile. Hi, Templar. Psionically, of course, says, I bet you're not even a real boy. And the raven's like, says nothing because it's a raven and I think it's a robot, but I'm not 100%. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Are ravens robot? Are ravens people too? If so, are stalkers people too? I think they have stalkers inside. Anyway, storm drop. Storm, it's about as much Protoss as it hits Terran, but those shields will come back. The Marines and Marauders will not. Where's the Ghost Academy Hero Marine? Oh, already done. Where are the ghosts? Better question. One, two, three in production immediately. He already suspected... Well, he saw the Templar before. When it when it said those mean words to the Raven. And also, uh, when he sniped some off in the first attack. Hero Marine gonna sit back and build up the anti-Templar army. Armory is just now on the way. Observer gonna come in and spot the medevac. There's no way he didn't see that, right? Could easily EMP it as well. Armor upgrades for both sides, finishing up one to one on the upgrade count. Plus two attack will start for showtime. Kinda delayed overall. Oh my god, the widow mine on the most valuable unit! Only one storm! A good one, but not good enough. Anti-armor missile. Oh, leading with the war prism. Heading through the center of the map has been a dicey endeavor for the wall so far. D. Mauer struggling to to see his... When, once again, when you're nicknamed the wall, your attacks. Not so much what you're known for. I'd say Showtime, a more strategic player. Like, he's not going to have the flashiest blink micro or warp prism pickups or anything like that, but he'll put the right units in the right place at the very right time. Hero Marine is kind of the same way. I keep saying that they're very similar players, but it keeps being true and being shown in front of us. So, if you wanted to watch in silence, you should have downloaded the replays yourself. Um, but that's why we pay Jimmy. Metaphorically, of course not literally. That would be ridiculous. 
the bunker funneling every single zealot into the corner. Hero Marine out of position, but the bunker buying a whole lot of time. War Prism, where are the EMPs? Not really landing. Storms will drive everything back, but the zealots are filing out past the depots. Meanwhile, Marine drop got a handful of probes, that handful being about five. No, three. Three probes, five SCVs. Hero Marine actually up a couple workers here. Will we start a fourth command center? More focus on the production. Slight repairs. Protoss army heading back. Double Kaloxin on the way. Adding in another tasty flavor of splash damage for this variety sampler plate. I, oh, I haven't eaten in a while. Can you tell? But I'm hungry for good games for the fans, and that's why we're here. As Hero Marine closes in. I shouldn't have picked Hero Marine versus Showtime if I was hungry. I should have picked, like, Clem versus Backpacks, but here we are. Mistakes were made in my casting build order. I had to see these games, and I had to see if Hero Marine can weather the storms or if Showtime will hold the line. Down goes the fourth, and at the back, a handful of Marines. He blinks in, snipes the medevac, but the EMP in between the gate and the robo. The choke point is asphyxiating. The Colossus. Oh, a single marauder. He misses the mark. He hits the second shot. Down it goes. Plus two attack is finished for Showtime, now finishing for Hero Marine, but he saw an opportunity and he seized it. Upgrades incrementing out as both these players more focused on unit production. The supplies keep getting higher and so do the stakes. No, not stakes. Stop. Ah, oh, not again. Oh, as we get into the meat of this, <clears throat> as we start to really take a bite out of the mid game. Okay, that was forced. That was too much. That was too much. Okay. Uh, too much. Hero Marine heading up towards the alternative fourth. And finds himself in a good concave. Driven off, though, by a beautiful storm. EMP, the Archons, feeling very vulnerable. Not a place they like to be, but the charged lots will move in to defend. Ghosts a little bit slower. Unable to take the fancy stim packs. Will be chased and hunted and sliced and diced down. No, not again! <laughs> oh no. Does he have detection? The Widow Mines didn't die. Oh no. That could be disastrous. Oh, he got. Anxiety. Oh, Widow Mines give me anxiety, and I, I don't think I'm the only one. A scan spots the army. Spotter pylons will not see the medevac moving in. Hero Marine, he is spotting with Widow Mines, which are a very potent choice. Showtime sees, well, he knows the map is dark, full of Terrans. So he'll do his best to light it up. I wasn't sure whose vision I was on when I switched to it, because Showtime is so good. Oh, and having map vision, not in avoiding shooting his own zealots in the face. Oh my god. A bit of a disaster there. Recall of a medium gateway army. But Showtime is going to need to avoid shooting himself quite literally in the face. I think he killed four or five zealots and zero marines and marauders. Once you let that purification nova the, go, it, you can't stop it. You can't cancel it. Uh, except by, I guess, killing your own disruptor, but that is not the ideal outcome. Oh god, the EMPs have been so good that the Stalker's moving into position. Hero Marine can't really get up the ramp here. He's working his way in. Right now the upgrades are 2-2 on either side, dancing back. The Danger Balls, the Disruptors may have to save the day. The Vikings trying to dart in. Shield Battery Overcharge, save the code. Whoa, 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 that was a misclick. There's no way that was intentional. Oh no, the Vikings were driving back for Colossi. Two Colossi is still a real threat, but oh, he leaned into it. He tried to split. Both these players feeling the stress right now. Oh, Hero Marine was trying to do the fancy parting of the, uh, of the Red Sea, if you would. The perfect Rupter split, but instead, you're playing with the most dangerous fire. And with it, the momentum of that push is gone. Purification Nova will chase him down the ramp. Some more 
danger balls. The real counter is Liberators. Hero Marine knows that better than most. He's one of the people who has made such great use of the unit in the past. By the way, DT Blink is on the way. No Liberators in production. I don't know. Does he only have one star? He's got two star ports. He is maxed out, which does make it hard to build more units, but he's going to fix that pretty soon. Great EMP is to start. Colossi. This is when Showtime thrives, though. Oh, by the way, I think we're going to see Liberator says a FUSION core. Not Battle Cruisers, Advanced Ballistics, but at this point, I'll take whatever I can get. Vikings knocking over the Colossi, Disruptors, Airball, and Shaq at the free throw line once again. 0 for 2, and a third gets sniped. Showtime down 30-40 supply. He's now lost a whole lot. Hero Marine looking for the finishing move as Showtime is on the ropes. Though he has been able to hold on to his fourth. This is Showtime's comfort zone. And by comfort, I guess comfort might be a strong word. Pull, pull, throws out a couple. Targeted. One, two, three. All it takes is one. He gets none. Hero Marine knocking them down as they come. EMPing the Nexus. Giving him some extra damage. He picks up. The blink was already used. Widow Mines all throughout the field. Denying another base. The Widow Mines still intact. Two kills here. Oh. Those are Blank DTs blinking into the mineral line. Spotting a Liberator, by the way, though. I don't know what he wants to do about it. The, the counter to ranged Liberators is Tempest, but we're not at the stage when the Liberator count is so damn high that you got to deal with it head on. Blink Stalker's still... Oh, well. The Widow Mine's still grinding out damage, getting the occasional unit. The map vision for both players is quite good. Oh... Oh, no. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a mess. I'm pretty sure that the Disruptor killed more Zealots because the Marines ran directly into them on a move. Command DTs with Blink. They make their way out. This Widow Mine has been the most valuable unit in the game. At this point. The amount of time he's denied this base. He hasn't killed probes, he just can't build the Nexus. Showtime doesn't have enough space to figure that out. There's so much going on right now. Hero Marine constantly threatening this top right corner, so Showtime has to put up an aggressive defense. You don't want to be pinned up against your Nexus with Liberators raining down freedom. The DTs with Blink, he's gotta get he's gotta get this Nexus up. He needs it now. He needed it three minutes ago, but. Here we are. Another disruptor threatening both sides. Mutually assured disruptors. I could have just said, to, oh my god, that curveball at the last second. He's zoning out to snipe though. You gotta be real careful. He's, he's, it feels like he's just grabbing him with his hand and dragging him around. Might be like, you just described a mouse winter. You know what I mean. You can, of course, micro the disruptors after you throw them out there, but the way Showtime's doing it is... Very hands-on. <laughs> well, that, that, hmm. Liberators in a planetary fortress. Trying to distract from the DT is at the front. Both players struggling to put more units on the field. We've kind of s slipped down to about 150 supply for both sides. Neither seems to be able to remax out. The incomes, the main bases and naturals are mining out, if not already mined out. Yeah, Hero Marine's actually lifted his main. I'm not sure where it ended up, but it's gone now. Wait a second. More disruptors. Oh, he threw If there was ever a time to manually control, but he threw it through and he wasn't able to get enough damage done. 13 SCVs. The Orbital Command. Gotten down. The Stalkers bring it. I. But. Oh, the Marauder Marine. He's got a. That, that. One, two, three shots. I don't know how many Ruptors are left over. 13 SCVs died in the last minute, bringing Hero Marine down to 45, but that means his army supply is still potent. He's got 99 versus 103. Liberator's back at home, attempting... Oh my god, the Widow Mine. The Widow Mine. The Widow Mine. 
a trilogy in three parts. Did I just say... Okay. Man, surprising ever. What? There were EMPs in the bunker. That was not a loot box that Showtime wanted, but it's the one he got. I... I... You never... You don't expect ghosts in the bunker. And this army looking mighty vulnerable here. A couple more disruptors. One. Oh. So dangerous, but at the same time, the right flank. And Showtime swings in, and what is Hero Marine mining? Nothing! He's got nothing! What? Showtime sweeps the leg. He lets himself get punched in the face in order to wrap around and obliterate Hero Marine's economy. Hero Marine has nothing left. He's got to win with the army he has. What happened? He keeps winning fights, but he's losing the war. There's not that many skate. He has one orbital? Two orbitals left. Oh my god, he's tearing through the whole army. The Protoss army is just not good enough. But he can replace his units. The Metavax. God, there's one disruptor. Showtime. There's only eight SCVs. He's got less than he started with. He's mining from with all he's mining with all of them. There's another disruptor. Fires the shot for the win. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to I want to see Hero Marine's face after that one. But I also Oh no. Oh, disastrous. I mean, I don't know if if that disruptor had gone down whether Hero Marine could have turned it around, but it certainly didn't help. Showtime looked like he was losing. He lost every fight. Except the last one. I guess, I guess at the end of the day, it's not about throwing the first punch. It's about throwing the last. Showtime showing the flexibility of Protoss. Protoss not known for flexibility. Okay. Known for a lot of different things. Not their food. Despite what the Irish chefs will tell you. Um, but flexibility, especially when it comes to uh, actually playing the game. Their units are so expensive. It's so hard to replace. But Showtime showed you could lose as much as he did. And still come out on top by maneuvering well. I don't know what the answer was. Hero Marine never seemed to get enough liberators to zone out the disruptors fully. Uh, or lock down his bases. Showtime stayed flexible. Very maneuverable for a wall. We'll see if he can maneuver into position yet again in game two. And Jimmy took his sweet time on this one. Blackburn. A bit... A very, a, one of the few different maps. There... In SC2, we've kind of figured out the map. Right? It's a question of how easy it is to take your fourth and whether there's a ramp to your natural. But occasionally, we like to sprinkle in some maps like Blackburn. Which kind of shake things up. Where, as time goes on, you expand away from your opponent. Rather than towards them. Which means your expansions are maybe less vulnerable, but your main and production can be cut off. Uh, also has a few unique attributes, like the gold base that technically you can mine from either side, though the gas is only on one side. The pseudo-islands covered by rocks at the center and to the north. It is an interesting one, and it usually brings us some of our most exciting, if uh, longer games. Because if the match goes past the 10 minute mark, it will probably be closer to 30. Because that means we're going to cut it in half. Though though that's more of a Terran versus Zerg thing. And a Protoss. It's just Zerg in general. At some point, the Zerg can't do any more damage, but you can't move out. Protoss versus Terran is a little more dynamic. In the sense, you're, you're able to hurt the other player. Even when maxed out. As we saw last game. 
uh, Showtime with the Blink DTs, actually. I think Blink DTs, like, when Blink DTs were first added and introduced, everybody, of course, rightly so, is wondering why the, um, why the most annoying, arguable unit in the game now has Blink. But it ended up being not very much use. Uh, because the unit's so expensive, the things that counter it still counter it, and, and spending more money on it wasn't really solving that. But it did get a buff not, not long ago, and by not long, I, I realize how old I am and how long we've had this, this patch. But like three years ago, I got a discount. It takes a little less time, and it's cheaper. It's only, uh, I believe, 100 100 I want to say. So it does make those late-game DTs more of an option just like the campaign intended. And Showtime using them, because they don't usually win the game, occasionally, but they are got, like, they're, they're your own personal blinking widow mind, if you want to make it fair. Just think about that. I don't think that widow mind ever died, by the way. I, uh, like Arnold the widow mind. I don't... Arnold. Okay, that'll be the name. Arnie. Maybe not on. I'm not sold on it. I can't believe I haven't named Widow Mines before this. I guess they don't deserve a name because they shouldn't have been born. But <clears throat> don't tell them your true feelings. Unbiased. I'm an unbiased and objective caster. Like and or dislike. Who cares, right? Like, if you agree. Doesn't matter anymore. Hmm. Oracle. Stargate was the choice, but up against a three Rax Marine play? Well, he's gonna save five Marines in the main. And he's gonna be able to do a bit of math here. Yeah, that's... If you combine... Yeah, it, it's obviously a, a heavy Rax play here. A timing from Hero Marine. Using the Oracle a bit like an Observer, and why not? It's just a better, slightly more expensive Observer, isn't it? Showtime waiting, watching. Two oracles now. Not in vision. Oh no. Oh, what a play. Surprise! Beautifully done by Showtime. Has now forced a pretty all an already committed timing push. He's just made it all in. At least a lot closer to it. Killing six SCVs, cutting off some Marines. Now can he hold it? Stim is not done. Combat shield finishes up. There's two shield batteries. The third Nexus isn't complete. Until it's complete, you can't use shield battery overcharge. That is a very key point. Does he use a revelation or does he save the energy? He uses a revelation. Oh my, you can tell he's under a bit of pressure. Two Twilight Councils right next to each other. No, 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 he's going for the patented charge blink. Or glaive charge. Um, or he's just going to get his spears infinite rank. Wait a sec. There's no way that's intentional, right? That, that should have been a robo. Oh my god, it's charge and blink. Are you insane? What is this? What? I mean... Is he just gonna die before it? Targeting down the shield battery. Shield battery overcharge used. The guardian shield plus... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's quite strong. You know what he's never gonna expect? Is charge and blink. I wanna know. I want Showtime. Come over here right now, Showtime. I know this... Oh. Maybe don't. I distracted him. I'm sorry. Uh, are you... What? I mean... Okay, okay. Was this... Did he intentionally get too twilight? The fact that they're right next to each other at the same time makes me feel like the answer is yes. And it's not like a twilight is that expensive at, uh, at 150-100. It's just... I mean... I, uh, okay, let's just let it play out. I'd love to know if it was intentional or if he's just playing off what he has. Because once again, it's not that expensive. It's just... 
I get excited. Because it's new and it's... The, this is the type of thing that you do in the Diamond League when you pretend like you didn't accidentally build your second Twilight. That's why I want to know. But Showtime, even though he's made some misclicks and missteps, I don't think he put Twilight, two Twilights right next to each other by accident. I think his follow-up is to blindside Hero Marine with the sheer amount of units and the Twilight upgrades. Like, Hero Marine is not going to expect charge and blink done. Just the sheer gateway count. He's trying to go pound for pound with Bio. Usually with Protoss, you focus on these expensive high-tech units, which are vulnerable under heavy pressure, but give you more strength later on. If you go for the brute force option, where you just have charge lots and blink stalkers try to bully him off the field, well, there you go. I, I, how's it going to go? I... That is a lot of bio, and and just because you have both upgrades doesn't really give you... Yeah, unfortunately, he's just tearing through everything. There's a reason you usually go for those expensive high-tech units. There's a shield battery here in the main. Shield battery overcharge targets it down. The army's getting whittled down rather quick here. He did, he did kind of cut a path. He carved right through the natural. Showtime says that's the robo spot and rebuilds in the... You know, of all the places to put a robo where it won't get sniped, I would think usually the middle of your natural is safe, but maybe because we're on Blackburn, that's slightly less true. I love it, though. Showtime knows what he needs. I think uh, the charge blank makes pretty decent sense to me. Because he knows there are two phases of these attacks. One is the initial bio attack. The next is medevacs. And then the next after that is probably going to be either 2-2 two -two upgrades. In this case, I don't think it's going to be 2-2. Two -two. I think he's going to attack with the first two liberators. He's got three tanks. It's a double siege. This is actually super interesting out of Hero Marine as well. We've got... It's almost like an older style. But it still checks out. As uh, the one upgrade he doesn't have is Glaives. I think he's kind of throwing away the Adepts. He's not going to let it go right now, but he's he's showing the Adepts are there. So that does draw out Hero Marine's army. Big Gabe smells blood in the water. I don't know if Adepts have blood, but if they do, Hero Marine wants it, which sounds weird on every front. And we're going to move on to another entire line of thought, like whether or not Showtime can block this attack. The tanks on the low ground. Vulnerable, though. Hero Marine moves in to defend. The Adept shading into the third. Predictable, but is Hero Marine prepared? They're targeting SCVs so far. He's on hold position. Which means he'll only target things within range. Incidentally, SCVs. 13 SCVs die. Another precision counterattack from Showtime. Remember the oracles earlier. Wow. The wall is a metaphor for the flexible and maneuverable defense and counterattack that Showtime does. It definitely undersells uh, how how many steps ahead he's thinking. Like he knows what to do with what he has. And, well, we'll see if that continues to hold true with a strong double siege push. Two flavors of, of siege here. Well, here come the charge lots in the natural. Guardian shields on both armies trying to encompass the Terran army. The tanks doing their best. The Liberators unloading a lot of single target damage. Hero Marine trying to target Colossi. Warp Prism juggles back and Big Game holds the line. He did not get intimidated by Showtime's multi-pronged attack. And he maneuvered his units to block for his, his tanks in the back line. Showtime started realizing that the attack wasn't going perfectly well and disengaged with the help of a warp prism. So Hero Marine now moving around the north. These players are so evenly matched. Even when the scores are not, like when the series ends up like 3-0, or, or is it 3-2? Uh, it, it has to be near 50-50 with these two. God, they know each other so well. I think that's part of it as well. I wonder if that is why... Because this is a little bit of a, a larger scale. Dreamhack 
DreamHack Masters is the event compared to your weekly cups when you kind of just do your ladder builds when you play someone this much. I bet they practice together a lot of the time as well, so... I wonder how much these styles are, are kind of countering what you know the other one will do. And who ends up getting ahead and who ends up outplaying themselves is the question. Well, I don't think we have a decisive answer either to that or to who's winning this game. Another incredibly even match. Humorine, though, a little down on economy, but he does have a very strong unit composition against relatively little so oh, no the bubula forces him to split his units and this partition caught between a rock and a hard place here marine has to move all the way around a venn diagram of freedom though but at the same time charge lots into the third forces here marine back the army almost found the opportunity, but not quite. Another round of charge lots are warped in. Showtime with a 30 supply lead. I'm not sure where those zealots are going. He redirects them towards their intended target, which is the juicy SCVs. Hero Marine doesn't quite have the units to defend on all fronts. Another important point, he doesn't even have an armory, so he's kind of stuck on plus one, plus one. Zealots once again dragging attention and units away. Is Showtime really going to try to break this, though? How many liberators? Six liberators, eight tanks. Seventeen SCVs just kind of die. The Aero Marine just... Yeah, at, like, the Zealots will die, but siege tanks don't kill them very quick. So the charge lots... He's trying to bite off the side of the defense. I guess we're base trading. Four Metamax into the main. There's not enough energy for a recall. Does he go straight for the Nexus? He depowers the production. Showtime trying to set up for a recall. He recalls to the natural. Smartly done. There's a Dark Shrine at the back. I don't... I, I'm pretty sure Hero Marine realizes that he recalled, but how much damage can he do? He's going to try to pick up and get out. Where are the Blank Stalkers? The Blank Stalkers may be able to get one of the lifeboats. Not quite. The Archons get in the way, and Hero Marine once again draws this particular rabbit out of a hat and survives the attack while doing damage to Showtime. But once again, Showtime has done so much economic damage that Hero Marine is nearly all in. The Danger Balls throw it out. Two tanks, the first targets, and will be obliterated by the initial volley. Showtime will pause, but we don't stop. Not here, not in this experience, which is why it's so much better than watching live. So... Like and subscribe. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy. I really do. Back to the action. The bio unit's gonna isolate the gateway units, of which they, well, they're definitely superior to, even with, wow, 3-2 upgrades. The gateway unit's starting to get a little closer on that. Tanks on the back. Showtime recall is on cooldown, but the medevacs are out of energy. Showtime's just expanding around the map. He's saying, I have more bases than you do. Um, Jimmy, can we see if he walked into a rupture or if he just decided this ain't gonna happen? Oh, a dark Templar. Uh, Showtime undercut him. It was far too much. And that means Showtime will be on match point. It was, once again, an incredibly close game, though Showtime doing real damage to Hero Marine. Um, an incredibly close game, but Showtime undercutting the economy and making the battles almost irrelevant. He has such a knack for that. Hitting, it, it, it feels terrible, and, and it feels... YouTube comment inducing. I'm not hinting, but I'm hinting. That Showtime keeps winning games without winning a battle. And I don't think you can say he decisively won any fights, but Hero Marine taps out with his army currently killing a Nexus. That kind of tells you the, uh, the situation he felt himself in. So, another technical knockout from Showtime. Can we get game through? What do you mean? What are you saying? Oh, we got time for... What do you mean we have time for? You're making the time. A quick advertising break as we are technically 
on match point. If you could pause and block, that would be awesome. And uh, with that, uh, we'll be right back. Thank you for tuning in. Hey everybody, I'm Winter and I'm here to talk to you about YouTube. Do you love YouTube? Do you have a choice? So, now that you're here, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and it would be awesome. By the way, if you checked out my videos in the recommended tab, YouTube, did you know that YouTube says if you have people watching things in the recommended tab, They'll even watch more of your videos, and what they, what they really mean is they'll watch more ads! So, if you enjoy, uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to keep watching my videos. I'm supposed to come up with a more clever way to say that, but you made it this far. It's like 40 minutes in, let's be honest here. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and may we have another great year next year. Jim, just, okay, we're done, we're done. We're done. Okay. Thank you guys for sticking around. We're on game three of Hero Marine versus Showtime. These two, once again, going back and forth. I feel like Hero Marine has not been able to show as much of it. Well, Showtime keeps blocking him. The wall is stopping Big Gabe. We thought nothing could. But this wall keeps being slightly out of reach. As much as I enjoyed the charge blank, or the blink charge, Charge blink? Charge blink th sounds way better. But it does give the wrong impression. As much as I enjoyed it, it didn't seem particularly great. I wonder how much of that was accidental, how much of that was planned, how much of that was just testing it out. Because it almost ended up costing him the game when his gateway units just couldn't get the job done. But Hero Marine couldn't find the finishing blow. And it did hold the line, so... I do want I do want to see more combinations. Like let's let's go Glaive's charge. Or like Glaive's plus DTs with blink. And then die to one liberator. So there are definite weaknesses. Um Another thing to point out, we played three games now. I say we played three games because we've already passed the relevant point. No proxies at all. It, that first game, Hero Marine, uh he opened up with a a command center in his main. Which doesn't sound dramatic, but that was the most dramatic thing we've had so far. I guess the hiding the oracles until the, the perfect timing was Showtime's little mind game in the previous match. Are we due for a proxy void ray Showtime? That probe is me. Oh, oh, he's just scouting in. So if there was to be a Reaper, it would pop out right around two minutes. So he's waiting until the Reaper goes out. But there is no Reaper. It's a Marine. A hero Marine. Drives away the probe, but the probe gets all the info it needs. The fact that Marine exists, as well as the command center. There you go. Adept shading across, knowing it can leave the base with impunity, is incredibly unlikely. There's a, a Reaper following up that first Marine. It's just not worth it. A stalker being chrono boosted out as well. We continue to lay the pressure on. He's got a twilight on the way, which is almost certainly for Blink. But if he does want to get a little spicy, a dark. Okay, Blink. <laughs> Don't get people's ho hopes up. And since this is showtime and not Max Packs, I imagine this will be two gate Blink looking for a third, as opposed to four gate Blink looking for a win. A very different style. Like, they're, they're, we've always said, there are two distinct flavors of Protoss. Uh, and only a few Protoss 
can be described as both. You have your shield Protoss like stats. Um, hopefully he's coming back soon. Like Neeb, like Showtime. And then you have your YOLO Toss. Like Zest. Uh, like Parting, like Max Pex. Um, like Shield Protoss seem like the kind of people who will um, take you and lock you up when you're too drunk and let you out in the morning with a warning. And YOLO Toss feel like the ones who will stab you in the forearm, um, take your pants off, rummage through them, take your wallet, put your wallet back, take your pants with the wallet, put the pants on, and walk away. Because who knows what they're going to do next. You don't know what's going to happen. That's why they're YOLO toss. But since Showtime is a shield pro toss, uh, one of the few players who kind of bridges the gap on that is Trap, who can play either style, and that's part of why he's the probably the best pro toss right now. Is he, he has a more dynamic um, and a, a larger toolbox, I guess some people might describe it as. What have we lost so far? Okay, I'm like, I was wondering if there was something in that meta bag. No. I believe there was a Hellion or two at some point. Just one Hellion. A scouting Hellion, mostly. There's been some units or buildings canceled for Hero Marine. I'm not sure what that is what uh, that shows up as. But looks like we have another relatively standard game. Honestly, whatever game these two play becomes kind of the standard. We have three base. Now a Templar Archives. I feel like we kind of go back and forth depending on the, the, not the month, but like the quarter on whether or not we're going Robo Bay or Templar Archives. It's kind of like uh, 3CC versus Rochalins for, te oh my, he's doing a great job with those Blink Stalkers. So great. You know what's not so great? A Viking slaughtering all your probes in the main. Nine kills. Oh my god. We'll probably get the Adept... Yeah, the Stalkers got the Marines, but both sides... Nine Marines for nine probes. Both players killing. Though, I think Hero Marine definitely gets the better end of that trade. Oh, the Shield Battery Overcharge getting a surprising amount done. Yeah, Hero Marine not targeting the battery. I think a huge mistake here. He had an opportunity, and the Blog Foe the Immortal just gonna bash through the tanks! And Hero Marine squandering the opportunity the Viking ripped open in the main. If he was able to combine and, and do critical damage or even kill the third. But the shield battery overcharge saving the day as so often it does. And that means Showtime will halt. Though he'll be down a handful of probes. Not the ideal scenario, but much better than being dead. Once again, these players trading blows at identical times. And once again, it's unclear who came out ahead. You might thank Hero Marine for sure. But remember, Hero Marine does not have a third. He doesn't have a third. He's not going to have an armory. He's just now getting his bio upgrade. So he doesn't really have a follow-up attack because he invested in the tanks and the Vikings. There were multiple Vikings. Showtime, on the other hand, while he took an economic blow... That doesn't mean he can't spin up his production. Six more gates finishing. Storm is done. Plus one on the way. So unclear at this moment who's ahead. The best type of game. Another push is coming out here. Marine working with more medevacs. Combat shield stim plus one isn't too far off and he still has three tanks. Well, he has three tanks now. The Observer. I'm sure Hill Marine knows that, or at least suspects there's an Observer nearby. A scan spots the army. That war prism's a little conspicuous, I think. Does he really think there's not Storm? We'll find out. Yeah, the war prism, I think, should be giving some things away, but he's not really pre-splitting his army. You gotta be a little careful. He's gonna try to jump on it. The tank's the pre-split there. Oh my, it's pretty... No, no. That was disastrous, those last couple storms. Warpins mid-battle. At first, it looked like Hero Marine was handling it, but then the Marines and Marauders, they came back in for seconds. And usually they can barely survive the first. 
It is difficult to manage without EMP. Hill Marine agree agrees that EMP valuable. He already has a Ghost Academy done. Okay, a third command center has been completed. The worker count not devastatingly low quite yet. And by that I mean he's okay. Showtime now starting to grind out an income lead as the mules have yet to drop on... Well, he only had two for mules. The third orbital's on the way. Showtime not getting too greedy tech or upgrade-wise. Definitely pretty conservative on that. Both players, really. As uh, this entire series, they've been slowly adding upgrades as opposed to going for, like, double chrono-boosted forge or super quick armory or whatever. Showtime showing himself up to the north. Hero Marine scans, spots it. Wow, this is an incredibly dangerous move. I think he agrees. That is one of the most dramatic ways you can possibly split your army. Where are the ghosts? Three ghosts in production. He's trying to draw out storms. That's what he's doing. He's trying to take as good of a fight as possible. Those Widowmine are going to do a lot of damage. But the Templar! Oh, devastating! Those storms hurt so much. He doesn't know if there are any more Templar either. He has to retreat. The boys are pulled. He doesn't want to pull them into the Archons. He's got to be careful. The EMPs. The Archons are all stacked up. He could get all of them. The Ghost Academy itself. He lifts the orbital. Where are the EMPs? He's retreating to the main. Hero Marine was still surprisingly much supply for the situation. Lost 10 SCVs. Gonna go right back. The Archons give away the fact there's probably no more Templar here. He needs those EMPs. Oh, Hero Marine, he can't give up the third. That's most of his mining. He's going to give up. Wow. Get in! Get in! His own personal Dunkirk. I... Is he that confident, or is he that desperate? Those are the questions. Because he needs to win a fight. He lost his Ghost Academy. Once again, you... A surprising amount of important tech buildings dying at the natural this series. Hmm. That zealot. Gonna see everything. Hero Marine, it feels like he lost a lot of money, and the income graph reflects that. But he also knew he couldn't win the fight. Or at least he, he wasn't confident. A fourth Nexus is spotted by a very brave and, well, very drugged Marine. One or the other. Spotted. No! He's making the world tour! Come on! Come on! Small game! And he gets all the way to the main. He sees more upgrades. And he actually draws some attention. He wants to pick a fight. He's got multiple EMPs. Snipes, one of the observers. There's only two ruptors here, but there is some splash damage. Hero Marine's still making a game. Oh no, beautiful hit on the mines. Those mines are very important at clearing the zealots, but the EMPs are doing a lot here. They're carrying so much weight. The storms, though, gonna try to turn the tides and wash away Big Gabe's army. It feels like this game is all but over as the Protoss army on the chase. This time, Showtime has not slowed down. He's not stopped and held back. GG, GG, G. The Hero Marine throws them all out. And Showtime will be taking home a victory. A 3-0 I don't really think reflects the uh, outcome of this series. But a 3-0 it is. Hilmarine not able to find a gap in the wall. And Dimawa comes out on top. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out more of these and these and all the videos. What do you want to see and who do you want to see more of? You tell me. You tell YouTube. Like or dislike. 
and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun. Stay tuned.